All right, guys, it's time to mod again. So back to the workbench. Grab your screwdriver. Grab your wrench and. Today we're gonna do two builds, one a very simple one for only 25,000 rubles but still has amazing recoil and ergonomics which lets you pop headshots like nobody's business and we have the silent version where we add some more mods to compensate for the silencer so that we can achieve similar stats for only 42,000 so that you can still dish out headshots but this time silently and you can be sneaky as hell. I will walk you through everything very detailed so that in the end you can understand why this is for example not a good build. So first off for all here you only need traders level 2, that's very important for my budget series. So at the beginning this, you get the Saiga 9, adds gear for 16,000 rubles, but on the flea market the weapon usually drops to around 10,000 rubles pretty quickly. So first off we need of course the weapon, so go on the flea market and get yourself a Saiga 9 that still looks like a Saiga 9. <laughs> Now we start off with the vital parts of the gun and first the pistol grip. Now there are a couple of choices on grips but they don't add that much. For example the SAW would be the best for the price. But it's still just way too expensive for just 4 ergonomics more on a gun that has already a lot of ergonomics so um, nope. The next thing are hand guards and even though for the ultimate budget build you don't really need one, I would recommend that you use the AK Polymer series hand card anyway. It's only 1400 rubles and the very next best thing that doesn't need special attachments is the Zenit B10, which is way more expensive. But as you can see you can uh, on the... <laughs> Fuck! Anyway, just uh, <laughs> use the AK Polymer. This allows you to add one tactical device and one hand guard and even though you don't need them for the ultimate budget build still use it because if you find something in raid you can mount it instantly which saves you space in your backpack and makes your gun better on the run. Another example would be flashlights that scavs usually have on their shotguns. Now you don't need the rear sight so if you want to get max on you know saving rubles then you could sell it. Then back to muzzle devices and here there's a clear winner and that's the Saiga 9 muzzle brake. Because this thing allows you to drop the recoil even further for only 500 rubles, which is unbeatable. Now, how do we get a sight on this bad boy? For that use the Ishmash Vityats receive cover. <laughs> what a name. Now this lets you put on a variety of scopes, but I would recommend that you stick to the Cobra sight or the OKP. Because other sights get very expensive very fast, which defeats the point of a budget build. Now the difference here is the OKP, well, looks like this and has one mode. While the Cobra side lets you switch through different modes. But it's totally down to personal preference. I prefer the Cobra side because it also lets you put on a side shade, which adds free ergonomics to the gun. But again, if you like the OKP better, it works just as well. For magazines I recommend the biggest and cheapest one which is the third year PP pack. <laughs> and that's already it for the ultra budget version. Now when you assemble this gun you only need 4 parts and it costs around 13,000 rubles or 14,000 in this case. Together with a weapon of 10,000 you land around 24,000 rubles and for that you get a very solid gun with a scope, high ergonomics and low recoil which is ideal for popping headshots. But what? if we want to be more silent. Well, there are two silencers available for this gun. First one is the Vityat silencer. A very solid silencer, but as you can see it shreds the ergonomic. The other option we have, which is the Hybrid 46 silencer. While the stats are comparable, the price is not, because for the Hybrid silencer we will pay around 70,000 rubles, while we only pay 10,000 for the Vityat, so I think not much of a choice here. Now, if you haven't already, now we need the AK Polymer Series 4 grip. Because the silencer made us lose a lot of ergonomics and we want to get those back. So, how do we do with it? So, how do we do this? The easiest way is to just use the VGP 4 grip. It's a very cheap one and early available and it gives us 7 ergonomics back. Another option would still be the SAW, but ah, it's just still too expensive. Then in terms of stock, we have a couple of choices, but even if you use something as expensive as the PT, it doesn't come close 
to the standard stock with a rubber pad. So if you really want to push the recoil, use, use the rubber pad. And for tactical devices, I recommend that you use uh, into either a flashlight, and for that the cheapest one is with the 25mm rings, or if you want a tactical laser pointer, I recommend the blue laser. I personally just like it because it's the best visible except for the really bright red ones. And that's basically it. If we assemble the gun, you can see that we get it for around 32,000 rubles. With 10k for the gun, we land at around 32,000 rubles. Which is very cheap considering that you get a silenced gun with a scope, with a tactical device, with very low recoil and high ergonomics. Now, in terms of ammunition, I personally use the PST GZH because it has enough power for what I'm using it while being very cheap. But if you want to use something more potent like the AP63, you can of course split it. So first load your magazine with something like PST and the rest AP so that when you shoot, the AP gets out first and shreds the ammo of your opponent. And that's it. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you have feedback, very appreciated. If you liked the video, of course, smash like, subscribe for more and I'll see you all in the next video guys. Bye bye!